Yo! What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy AJ, back at you again with another Grand Theft Auto 5 online video. Yes, I know it's been a super fat minute once again. Um, uh, you know, coronavirus got me on quarantine, so I might as well drop videos for y'all, right? Um, uh, but yeah, man, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Enough of the talking. Um, I have an insane money glitch for y'all. You will need a friend to use this one for, uh, I'm sorry, can't speak today. You will need a friend for this glitch, um... But listen, before you leave the video, you know, before some of you get mad and click off of it, uh, if I get 50 likes on this video before the 24-hour period hits, um, I'll drop a solo money glitch. There is a solo money glitch out as of right now, but this glitch, the one that I'm posting as right now, is a little bit easier than the solo one. So I'm just going to drop this one. Uh, if you don't have any friends, go ahead and drop your name down in the comments. I'm sure someone will be down to help you out. But yeah. Um... Let's get into it. So what you want to do is you want to be in an invite-only session with your friend, okay? So as you can see up there, me and my friend were in an invite-only session in the top left, okay? Uh, you want to have the car you want to duplicate, which I recommend using the Future Shock Issy, okay? Do not use any vehicles from Legendary Motorsports or Southern San Andreas. You cannot duplicate those cars anymore for some of you that do not know that. So yes, once you have your vehicle inside of your bunker, the car you want to duplicate, now you want to take it inside of your MOC inside of your bunker. I don't know you get you understand I, I know that didn't make much sense but you understand park your car inside of your moc which is inside of your bunker okay then go ahead and leave your moc and then you're going to go ahead and leave your bunker okay now at this point um i didn't i didn't tell you in the beginning of the video but what you're going to want to go ahead and do is buy an lrg rh8 and a faggio okay so some of you who have done glitches before i know you're familiar with this but you're just going to need one LG RH8, okay? So just buy one LG RH8 and however many duplicates you want to make, okay? So fill up a whole 10 car garage, fill up all your garages full of Fagios. If you want that many duplicates, do it that many times. So if you buy 10 Fagios, you're going to have 10 Future Shock ACs, okay? You're pretty much turning a Fagio, which is $5,000, into $1.8 million every single time, and it only takes about five minutes. The video is going to be a little bit longer because I'm obviously slowing it down and explaining it but it does take about four to five minutes every single time you want to do it so let's go ahead and put this in the workshop okay so i just bought a faggio um i put all my duplicates in my arena workshop because that's my least favorite garage but y'all can do whatever you want now you want to exit your bunker okay you already bought your elegy rha you put your car inside the moc inside your bunker and you got the faggios ready now this is where your friend comes in okay so you're going to call in that LG RH8 as soon as the game loads, okay? Uh, depending on what bunker you have, um, you can do it in different spots. You just don't want to be um, too far away from your bunker. But you want to call in your LG RH8 and you want to make sure that your vehicle access is on passengers only, okay? I got I can't stress that enough. It's got to be on passengers only every single time. Okay, so right there, call in my LG RH8. Give it a few seconds. GTA loves to take forever. There's my friend waiting over there right by the bunker. Okay, right there. Now he's gonna go ahead and get in the passenger seat. Okay, and um, give me just a second. He's gonna go ahead and get in the passenger seat, and we're gonna go to the side of the bunker. Um, so at different bunkers, you can do it in different areas, but I mean, I, I don't see why why not just everyone do it on the side of the bunker. So I actually parked the whole vehicle on the actual side of the bunker. Okay, so I kind of do it about right here in the middle. Make sure the window's all the way up against it so he can't get out. Vehicle access, make sure it's on passengers. Okay, just like that. Then what you're going to want to go ahead and do is tell your friend to go ahead and leave and go do creator mode. So he's going to click pause. He's going to go under the online tab and he's going to leave just as you see here. And he goes to creator mode. Now what you're going to do is aim the gun at his head and do not stop aiming it at his head. You want to make sure that you're aimed at his head the whole entire time. Okay, um... Well, I'm sorry, not the whole entire time. What you're going to do right here is you're going to keep aiming at him. Just aim at him for a little bit, about like 15, 20 seconds, and then go ahead and invite your friend. So I'm going to go to our the party that I was just in, join back, and go ahead and invite him through the party. Because when I go, for some reason, when I go and invite him through the friends, I can't ever find him, and it won't let me invite him. Uh, GTA has some things to fix with their invites. Um... But just like that, you just invite him back as soon as he leaves. Um, you can do it from from this way, just like this. Invite him just like that. I have I actually have a lot of friends, so it's difficult for me to invite people like that. 
But you just want to stay aimed at his head the whole entire time, okay? Stay aimed at his head the whole entire time. Uh, sometimes this glitch does get tricky. It does sometimes tend to not work, and then it tends to work. Uh, one time we got it to work five times in a row, and then it didn't work for 15 times, and then it worked once. And so it's really about just um, how you hit it in the best places. Um, I'm pretty sure if you have different bunkers, it works better. I'm not too sure about the Chumash bunker, but... I don't know, y'all let me know, know down in the comments. And like I said, man, if y'all need somebody to help y'all with this glitch, y'all just drop your name down in the comments, and I'm sure somebody else needs help. So right here, my friend's back, okay? So once your friend is back, he's going to go ahead and aim at him. So you don't stop aiming at the guy until your friend is aimed at him. So now he's aimed at him, I'm going to go ahead and run away. And I'm going to go open my motorcycle club president as soon as I get close to the road, and I'm going to spam X to call my faggio. So right here, motorcycle club president find the nearest faggio please hurry and called in the faggio just like that and the car is still there now if the car does disappear that just means you need to restart like i said sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't right there we hit it it worked uh the times that it really doesn't seem to work is when whenever you stop aiming at his head for some reason like even if you just stop for a second um besides you inviting him but you just want to stay aimed at his head the whole time so your friend is still aiming at his head okay your friend is not going to stop aiming at his head um and he's going to actually get ready to kill him so don't kill him yet uh he's just going to go ahead and get ready and what you're going to do is actually go and get your future shark izzy out of the back of your moc so as soon as you're about to take it out you're going to say three two one or what you know whatever y'all want to do or what i do is i just say go so on the word go he's going to kill him uh, tank get ready so I'm telling him to get ready right now I'm gonna go ahead and get into the car like this and we're gonna do uh, we're gonna just do go so ready three two one go black screen and as soon as you see the black screen you're gonna pretty much tell him to go and he's gonna kill him the car on his screen uh, should disappear so should the guy and then um, yeah that's pretty much it your car's duplicated you're gonna pretty much just take this one this is now the faggio okay so this is the faggio um, now you're just going to go ahead and just like that, car duplicated. You're going to pull up to the back of the MOC. It's going to say it's full. Now the duplicated one will go wherever your Fagio is. So um, say you bought the Fagio and you put it in your penthouse garage. Well, it's going to be in your penthouse garage now. Now if you just want to rinse and repeat this, you can go ahead and exit the trailer. And you can just go right back outside and just keep running it back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Probably takes four to five minutes every single time you want to do it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If uh, if y'all need any help, just let me know down in the uh, down in the comments. And uh, good to be back, man. Catch y'all later. Peace.